going on everybody? This is Coach Brad and today I'm bringing you a rotator cuff strengthening exercise. This is considered corrective exercise and we're going to be using a loop band to accomplish this. So the movement is called loop versus external rotation. So it's the equipment and the movement. External rotation is any movement of the shoulder away from the center of the body. So the resistance is going out and then it pulls us back in. Fight it and come back in. So a couple of things for the setup of this, for best results. So we're gonna have the band around our wrists like so. We're gonna place our elbows against the rib cage and we want a 90 degree bend at the elbow. What that means is, in order to generate the most torque or rotational force, we need that 90 degrees. So this is not it. If my upper arms are vertical like that, then that's about 90. If my upper arm is slightly forward, this is 90 because my hands are higher. You see the difference? 90 or 90, but definitely not here, yeah? Definitely not here, okay. Now that that's established, basic movement is keep your elbows against your ribs, pull your wrists apart, but don't let your elbows flare out. We're not doing this. Now I'm just working my deltoid muscles up in the shoulder. This is not for that, okay? Elbows in wrists apart. It's almost like you're making a wide V, okay? But on this, in this direction. Okay, a couple mistakes I see a lot of people make. One is they're flaring their elbows out, which is not going to benefit you in the way this is designed to. Number two, they don't keep the 90 degree bend. So really try to make sure if you have a mirror nearby, definitely utilize that make sure it's a 90 degree angle at the elbow. Third thing you can see from the side, as I try to pull out, typically what happens is my body back bends a little bit because it senses the weakness in the shoulder. So what do I need to do? I need to counteract that back bending by doing a, like a mini crunch and holding the crunch. It's more like a plank than a crunch, but I need tension here so that I can't arch my back. Right? It's to counterbalance the tension of my spinal muscles that would normally backbend me. Okay, now here's a little trick to help you keep the elbows on your body. Imagine that these furniture sliders are $1,300 iPhones. You're going to put one under each elbow like this, and then challenge yourself. Can you perform the exercise with the 90 degree bend and no backbending? and do it without dropping those iPhones. If I could do air quotes right now, I would. Much harder than you think to do this while keeping the elbows on. But if that's what it takes, that little tactile feedback um, of just having a small object, it could probably be a pen, pencil, maybe even a sheet of paper, but something that, oops, if I drop it, I know I screwed up, okay? Guys, this is a great little exercise you can do at home as long as you have a loop band. Um, please feel free to try this out. Let me know if you have any questions. You can contact me on my website, phone number. Uh, you can leave me feedback in the comments below. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe. I'll see you in the next video.